Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaos and I will be your administrator here aboard the Tycoon. We are uh, hovering around this new and foreign planet and we are uh, just making good progress in this new zone. And uh, thank you very much everyone for following. I really appreciate it, the fact that you are hitting the like button and uh, subscribing and all that good stuff. It helps a lot and uh, for that I want to continue to have sort of good forward momentum on this series so that uh, we, can, we can explore this world together. That means also if you're looking for some of the other content on my channel, that's kind of taking a bit of a back burner as we progress with the story here for Ixion. Uh, hope that's okay, but don't worry, it's Population not forgotten. We will get the, we'll get back to that in due course. Right, in terms of this episode, let's sort of draw the big uh, big uh, overview here. The big overview will be the fact that um, we will be working on uh, trying to find the Protagoras with these traces and also inside we will be working on establishing here. Hopefully we'll unlock some fusion power and some Crop, uh, crop farming as well. I'm making room for it here and I think it's just enough room for it. It should be glorious once everything is done, I hope. But let's uh, start out here on the map. Uh, what we have in this here, Rogatansky, let's have a look. We have established infrastructure to support exploration. That is, I mean, I take the most expensive option, so that'll give us a better one. Setting up infrastructure capable of supporting exploration and geological analysis will allow the Einstein's team to map the site's top topography and explore the comet's cave. The cave system, despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will analyze a large amount of data. I like large amount of data, that sounds like science, with the help of a dedicated PA. I'll do it. Whoa, where's the we had four of these. We must have lost one. Didn't I have four? Uh what? Huh. Uh, oh, it's building. Ah, there we go. Now it built. All right, so that, that's why. This one will go here. There. That's that one. I will also make room for this. If you look at our happiness, whoops, we have uh, too many working. Yep. If you look at our happiness, let's get our infirmary moved up to this location so once we move the infirmary up there then i can take this out move it over there yeah i'll take this out i don't need it because we're still sufficiently happy plus four happiness great so we don't actually need that right now uh, but we want to keep uh, on top of our happiness here we have four on a side and because the science just came online we are now fully strained on everything here so this is going to be a bit of a little challenge for us the challenge being the fact that we just don't have enough uh, uh, of enough crew, and uh, there is no way for us to get enough crew. Oh, hold on, hold on. If I don't have anything, I can disable you, and I can disable you. Huh, I just freed up a lot of resources. They'll be going into another location as we build one more docking station, for sure. We want to build that. And I will also be sending out probes left and right, everything we want, oops, like, I basically want to tap everything before moving on. So you can see like if, the, if there's a good good stuff there, we'll definitely take it and then we'll just send out the rest. That is not good. Hold on. As much as I want to take this, I think that it's much more valuable for me to... Cargo ships are more likely to endure dangerous weather. Take that research first. Because we're going to be flying a lot through the dangerous weather. What about the mining ships? Should I then focus on this? Yeah, it means unfortunately that we postponed the cool things like fusion power and yeah, other things. But this is almost certainly going to be exploding by flying through so much dangerous weather. That sucks. Uh, what about here? They are coming in. All right. So at this point, uh, we will be I'll disable these because there was a mining vessel that has deciding to fly straight through this cloud from up here to there. So I had to sort of disable them momentarily. Right, so at this point, I hope you make it, but I doubt it, and then we'll have to build some more. We will be working, as this gets deconstructed, we'll be working on this part. And aside from this, well, uh, we are making just a little bit of batteries, because if I have batteries in this zone as well, then I will actually be able to fly, uh, to fly the ship somewhere else. And that would be kind of useful. We could fly it up to fly it down to here, for example, and then claim some of the stuff in this area. That'd probably be a good idea. And here's another research. We just keep spending more resources on this. Oh, we have a, a 
quest indicator close by. Uh, are we getting closer? Where are you? I see you. Oh, there you are. There. I'll take that. And so moving a bit forward here, we have finally delivered some items up to this location and it is almost completed with our listening station. Now, we do have a bit of an issue with alloys, as we would expect. But uh, as this one comes in, we are we're just continuing to send probes Messiah everywhere. Team has completed All right, task. so let's see. With the extra resources available to us, we were able to get through the ice. Uh, the cave extends deep into the comet and gravity is even stronger within it then on the surface, sending remote controlled recording equipment ahead, we discovered an almost completely enclosed cavity at the cav cave's end at the center of the comet. Within the cavity is a floating gray sphere, five meters in diameter. It has no discernible power source, but it does possess a strong electromagnetic field and emits a faint bluish glow. When we attempted to move the remote instrumentation closer, the sphere swallowed it. Its surface became almost viscous. We got post decryonization treatment upgrade and 45 signs. Great. Descend into the cavity and study the sphere. That isn't that. Look at that. That doesn't seem safe to stand there. Uh, leave the plant. We'll leave the plant. Uh, over here, we are trying to bring stuff in and they need to get in. I don't know. We had 30 out here, but they are apparently only three. So we're waiting for more alloys to come in. Uh, we are getting lots of science. If we look at our science, we have completed the fusion power, we've completed the uh, self-welding and over here the improv improvised repair protocols, those are unlocked and we're working on a crop farm. That means at this point, if we go in, we can now make the nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant, I have uh, sort of fidgeted around and I think I want it like this. Uh, that means we'll need to cut that corner in a weird shape like this, which is not something I'm usually fond of, but uh, I think that will be just fine for now. Let's build it, and here, fusion power. Ah, okay, well, there. There we go. And then it disappeared. All right, so this one will be built here, and it won't be able to do anything as of yet, because it... Um, it needs, uh, it, it needs a lot of stuff here. Uh, actually, oh, we do have two of these. And the science has actually completed the task. That was the completion here. Klein uh, protocol indi indicates that the crew on board the Einstein is not the original one. After intense questioning and observation by the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears that these new crew members are indeed human and possess good knowledge of Dolo's protocol and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they are have always worked on the tycoon and but their biometric data does not match with any crew register they probably guys just, just get a little bit changed remotely initiate the einstein self-destruct protocol i mean that is so tempting but i don't think that's a good idea i am saying that they probably just got changed like their dna got changed by getting too close to that sphere and we kind of promised not to lose anyone and if we explode them ourselves then whoops so we'll do the Naomi protocol. I don't know what the Naomi protocol that headline means. Uh, that means all of them have been now um, renamed. Why were they renamed? They should just be the same. Anyway, just the biometric data is updated. Anyway, we'll bring them back. <clears throat> Maybe they'll be aliens. We don't know. Maybe that is like one of those things where if you do that, you will fail the mission. But, you know, it could also be like a, a good thing. Let's see if we can find more. Uh, oh, I want that. so difficult to find when it just turns bright green up oh, it gets even better come on there's a tiny little speck uh this pixel hunting is kind of infuriating at times i'll do i'll do that one we, we, we want carbon more than we need ice Okay, back inside. Uh, this one will then need some power. Let's see. That means we are going to get, or not power, some water inbound. So I think I will build the water here. Yes. So this one will be water, and then I'm gonna have to build an extra water in here. Unfortunately, we don't have one, two, three of these. So I'll take one of these and just change it into, uh, not A water, but ice. Has completed its scan. It's interesting that water is not something you could transfer, so you need to have the fusion power in the same location that you consume the water. So that's something we kind of have to keep in mind. We are yeah, still 40. That's more than we have available. 
I think we'll take this one as the next step, just because. And that means we also should start mining the water as well. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get you to mine some water as a backup. And you as well as some backup. So they want to focus on the carbon and the silicon. But if nothing else, they'll go here. And the one that's mining iron will just continue mining iron and nothing else. That should be good. So the cell that should go to some iron instead. And then we need someone to pick this up. That will be... Um, I guess here. And these will... And yeah, maybe, maybe this is the one. There we go. That should be fine. And we're still bringing stuff into this location. We still only have three and there's no one brought in because I am in such a short supply of iron. Do we have some iron here? Yes, we do. 180 something and here as well. Now the question is, does it make sense for me to move? Like for example, I could move over to this one and then I'd get access to all of this available resources. That would be nice. Uh, don't have anything else here. Nothing in the cloud. There's a lot on the back side here, but I don't want to take that. Um, we can take that later on. Oh, oh, that's just ice. Oh, that's oh, that's a lot of silicon. We'll pop that one. Right. So at this point, let's see. Oh, we have uh, one of our science ships up here. We'll now be able to go to the next one, Deville. Oh, it's this one says colonization protocol, but maybe. Maybe we can do something before the colonization is taking effect. In the meantime, going in here. I don't want this to go online just yet. I want this to go online. How is our crew? Yeah, we have five crew. I just put in a few extra of these so I can build up my reserve while I have the opportunity to it. So just build more, uh, use any excess, any excess resources for making food. That seems like a good opportunity. And over on this side, this is keep building the dot new docking bay, which will just basically give us three more, um, three more transport ships, I guess, I think. How about here? We have enough to switch you on. Great. Still no uh, meat popsicles that we can uh, de-thaw or defrost. Defrost? Yeah. Thaw or defrost. That's how it goes. Cool. And we have arrived at this location. Let's have a look. Oh, it just... Ah, well, that was disappointing. So it just says that it can't do it until it gets something. Right, so we'll send our Einstein ship onwards to in here. It's unfortunately flying into a dangerous area. But, um, hey, let's try and find... We need to find these locations. And in the meantime, we are bringing resources straight through the cloud. And this is so bad because it's 30... Uh, alloys so I hope it's gonna make it back here it will need to do two trips which is not gonna be good uh, in the meantime I'm just considering whether it's worth it to try to move you up here that's 2.1 cycles it's kind of just moving away from some things and moving away closer to other things I mean, there's a lot of good stuff let's move to Plymouth though um, let's see a probe has 2.7 yeah you know we'll move up here okay so here is a super important thing we in before you move you check this is the 4.4 cycles until next feeding. That means even if we run out of uh, battery, and we will, then we can actually transport up here in 3.2 cycles and not miss the next fuel. So we will uh, be moving up there because I think it might be closer to where we want to be and then sort of claim that area first, I think. But we will definitely be running out of batteries. You can see here, yeah, we're definitely running out of batteries. But that's not a problem as long as we don't run out of I um, don't run. Oops, there we go. Uh, as long as we don't run out, uh, run into the point where they need they miss their food during the downtime. Uh, so we'll just let it run out. Not a problem, I think. Let's see if we can find more good stuff out here. And uh, now that we are in this area, come on, get good stuff in this. I have kind of been combing this area. A little bit of iron here. Nothing around us. Oh, there's a bit over here. Hmm. Oh, 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 that's good. There we go. And while we are traveling, we are, of course, suffering a lot of uh, balance deficit. But we also have new research, and that is the food, the crop farm. So here is the thing. I have actually planned this to be right there. And I planned it to be right there. We'll take A this one first. Completed its and this 
crop farm will then be able to plant nine fields next to it, which is going to be the next part. Uh, we have now completed our fusion station, but it's not powered. There's no point in powering it if we don't have any ice inbound. Uh, so we will need to get... This one was actually incorrect. It should, not, of course, not have been here. I have uh, had to move it. So we need ice inbound as well. So we actually need someone to start prioritizing ice in terms of uh, here. Oh, hold on. Didn't we get like a... Uh, yeah, look at that. That's extra. That's going to be like these and these. And do I have... I don't have anything here. Yeah, more... Diogenes, Mule, and Pandora. They will be now crafted. That's a bit excessive, maybe. But I do think we need this uh, more than anything else. How are we doing on movement? Uh, we are now... Yeah. Section 3 has run out. That is unfortunate, but don't care. Uh, we might not be able to send this out because it uh, is unpowered. Let's test it, though. Oh, hello, Iron. Uh, yeah. No active prod launcher. Never mind. So we'll have to wait slowly i love that they are anticipating where it is and then flying in to intercept it so clearly these are faster than uh, ours up here did we we didn't lose anything right now we have up to 33 so it needs to be bring 17 more into this location All right let's see if we arrive safely now ideally we would have enough batteries to move this or move it in several steps but ultimately if we look at the impact of this and oh wow why are you uh, overburdened? Uh, let's see here. There's not really anything. Like even if they are out of power. Now they're coming back online. No, it's still moving. Why is it? Why do we have still have batteries here? Huh. Okay. Well, that's still moving. So really, it hasn't cost us anything to do this. So we, uh, we have no problem doing that. And uh, what we can also do is we can do that part, which is... It's going to be surprisingly important for our design here. There. This. This is being built. The water. The, the farms. Again, all of this doesn't matter <clears throat> until we get some water inbound. We have now arrived. We sent our second sign ship over to this location and is now collecting signs. Let we, let's just collect the signs we have so we can get more progress on the cell housing. And as we go in here, let's claim that okay we got another one incoming and one two and there we go deploy crew in reinforced skeletons that's obviously what we need to do whatever they if, if there's something that's unlocked by tech then that's obviously what we do send a small team of special all right probe scans have picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a dollar's frequency however the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the tycoon and its auxiliary craft a window of opportunity appears to be opening a temporary cessation of the high winds at Fargo 39 has given us the clear zone in which to operate. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Despite the extremely hostile environment, we are preparing to make a sortie to a signal location. I mean, any one of these is just, it's just basically saying it's bad. You really want exoskeletons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sign ship, exoskeleton, change that claim those mm, yeah we have nine signs and that's gonna be taking a bit what if we redirect it over to this one? Oh, it's already investigating event yeah and i can't leave then so oh well we have to complete this event first then ah that's a bit of a back and forth where is our ship i want to make sure that we actually have a ship that is doing this there should be one ship here the quicksilver is waiting and it's waiting for more iron to come in and that is uh, probably going to be the main problem we are building stuff with alloys uh, actually we're not building anything with uh, we're building a tiny thing with alloys here so we have seven demanded and then we of course have all the demand for our our construction <laughs> and we are using iron so let's make sure that our our ships out here are focusing a bit more on iron than they usually are All right, let's dive into our factory and uh, just as slowly we can see that we have now built a crop farm and this one can put in nine of these so what that happens here is that it says 1.5 water into 1.2 food per cycle over 10 cycles so that is actually quite a lot and look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight oh come on why did the last one have to be 
misplaced. There we go. These. That's unfortunately like an absolute ton of these that have uh, the products here. And uh, of course it won't work until we have some water coming in. Do we have water? Yes, we have water here. Let's have a look at the water supply. Ice. Or not uh, uh, ice. This one is in section one. It'll be set to minimum. And in section three, it'll set to maximum. Sector two doesn't care. But we will now transport all of that over to our power plant. And if I enable the power plant, we are definitely going to see some issues. So I'll be power unpowering this and repowering this. And it's still optimal. How close are we? Yeah, very, very close. That's a, oh, okay. It is extra hours. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything we don't want here? Nope. I will also just zoom down. Actually, we don't need this one, so I can take that out. And then we're back to optimal. Now, this part will use more power as more fields are added, but it won't use more more people. So it's very, very light on people. Four. Four, eight on of resource. Like this is is 1.1 per cycle. This is 1.2 uh, per cycle. Task. So it's not much, but it's smaller footprint and a lot less uh, worker intensive. Also, I would also say less power intensive. Yeah, less power intensive as well, because we need a lot of these. So this is really good, but it needs it only harvests over over time. And it is now time to go up here. We have finally managed to get our alloys in here. And we see Chevy 34 does not possess any subterranean systems that would facilitate exploration within the core of the planet. However, the team did locate a fissure that let to the observation that the formations must originate from deep below. Size analysis returned colossal measurements estimations. The characteristic shape of the formations is thought to derive from a combination of electromagnetic interference and self-similar space particle resonance. And 60 signs. Let's leave the planet. Oh, while preparing to depart, Chevy 34, the Mendeleev's captain received an alert from a crew member saying that they had spotted a gigantic molluscold near the position. I mean, I'll take 15 signs anyway. We'll invest. Oh, this is probably one of those that explodes. Uh, we'll take it. We have 75 research up there. Mm, we want 75 research, especially because this one is kind of stuck until we get the research completed. So we need the 15 research to complete until, and then we can uh, can get it. Uh, over here, I mean, I think we're almost out of things to explore. Look at that. We oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Just a little tiny thing. Oh, that's a good one. Can we? Yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. I like that. So we're getting like lots and lots of clusters here. I want to just find everything. And once we do that, when we've used all of our <laughs> all of our polymers for that, we're has doing good. Scan. And that, no, that was not it. That was the completed scan. So we just need this one to complete. And then we should uh, start getting some science out of this. A science ship team go. has completed a task. Let's have a look. Uh, I just can't. Okay, they must. They must be still alive because they start collecting time. I'm actually wondering if I, if they die and they will, they still collect science until I click the button. So they're not dead until I. Oh no! Why did remember killed? Uh, all right, I'll click this. I just want to go let to go down to sixty because if when it goes down to sixty, I know I have enough science. So that should be fine. And that is in sector three. I don't like it in sector three. Upon nearing the location, it appears that what the crew member had actually observed was an unusually shaped geological formation. Psh. And then we leave the plan. All right. <laughs> we'll keep you there until you've taken all of that uh, here. And uh, we have ooh, a repair location here. So now we are actually starting to get some water in this location. That means we're getting water out here. And these farms are actually producing. So we could like prematurely harvest at lose 30% and then harvest it for a total of six. That's not overwhelming, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's it's something. And they are now extra work. I'll be... Oh, wow. That's a lot of... What? What the hell? That's now... All of that is offline. Uh, I guess... I guess... How many did uh, we throw into the infirmary then? Uh, okay, we have 10 in the infirmary. We really need some more popsicles. And our science is... Done. Let's get you instead. Um, does not mean we have now that we have the reinforced option locked by exoskeletons. We'll do this and it better be good since we waited so long for that. So we'll send them in with exoskeletons. I mean, otherwise that was just a gigantic waste. Uh, once the sign is done, uh, we can, I'll just not do this. We can send it over and start looking at Plymouth. 
unfortunately, this one did not reveal anything about our location. I'm pretty sure the Fargo one will be revealing something because this is uh, this is about a distress signal. What about this one? Uh, cavities. What about this? Hmm, that's probably in the next one. So we'll send it. I guess we'll send it over here so it, it goes through as little as possible of the storm. And then once it comes over, we'll redirect it to Valiant. It's a few things are about to happen. And once this completes, very soon we have science completed. Science there we go. Team has completed a task. So with exoskeletons, let's see what we get. We have arrived at the source of the signal transmission. We found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears the resemblance to those we will use on the tycoon. It is embedded within the rock, rock face below a large prom promontory. The high winds are making its balance unstable. Oh no, now we have to take a chance, right? Uh, all right, the cargo ship is in bad shape and rough winds are not helping the situation. Minimize risk, entrance and exit of the ship will be made as quickly as possible. That sounds good. And that's archive digital data. Survey the cargo ship, recover any archive data and return. The team will briefly investigate the cargo ship and learn more about its origin. Recover any data present and return. Recover data from the cargo ship and attempt to attempt EKP repair for cargo recovery. That seems super greedy. And it, they've said unstable. I don't know what the difference is between these two. Survey the ship and recover the digital data. Recover the archive data. Archive digital data. Return to the end. I, I don't really see the difference between the two. So I take the one that has longest time and then hope for the best. It's hard to gauge what is good and bad from these uh, options, but uh, hey, that's something. Let's have a look at this. We are almost harvesting and then we'll be harvesting only 47? Really? I would expect that it would be more. Mm, yeah, 9 by 11 per cycle. 11 per cycle? Yeah, it says 11 per cycle. Oh, because the other ones didn't sort of get up in time and they'll still have the same harvest cycle. So we are, are going to see this and then we've got a pretty decent amount of extra food just boosted in here. Should be good. And we got it. There you go. That's a nice boost of 60. Oh, come on, those accidents. We're still under optimal conditions. And let's see. We have food coming in. And I think we're actually okay on all of this. And we also have now this one I want to show because we've been putting so much effort into planning this that I want to show how awesome it is. Like here, I'm going to pause there, 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 there. That's how well I planned uh, section three. This is 125 each, or actually it's a lot more than that because we just got the plus 50. This is... Did we get the extra storage space? Yeah, additional homes. I thought it would uh, highlight on 125. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it's 125. So this is uh, 375, and this is so this is 750. <laughs> 750. Uh, yeah, resources here. Uh, that queen store, but it only can only be half. So this is just preparing for the very late game and basically saying you can get a lot of the uh, housing done in these i'm going to pause every one of them and so they don't require resources but at least now i know what i intend to build here and you can see the road goes in here and the road goes in here and they will also touch that location and the road goes in here so i am super happy about this layout for this sector and it certainly can uh, can store all the people we absolutely need in this case so that's pretty good and we have farming done we have fusion power done that is great all we need to do now is continue to work our way to find the traces of the protagoras uh, we're pretty sure that we uh, valiant will be one and the uh, fargo will be another one i think i'd want to move the mendel uh, the tycoon over to fargo or do we yeah let's move it over there it's 2.2 cycles we can do that love this animation it's nice that there's a little animation every time we move we just ever so slightly ran out of power in section three. So this one ran out of power. Battery power, it is at zero. Uh, why are they still moving though? A new oh. Your oh no. 
With the discovery of the Etimananki's attack on Protagoras, many of the crew's theories about the UN's animosity toward Dolos has been confirmed. The crew has been shaken, learning that they were st struck with the seal of banishment by the former authorities of Earth. This will increase the prevalence of dead Earth sickness in the tycoon. All right, let's see if they're still happy. They're still happy. Of course, they're still happy. They're under my competent tutelage of uh, of of uh, <laughs> uh, propaganda. Uh, okay, keep switching things on until uh, until we switch things off again. Otherwise, we still have this one is ready to go and get a some more happiness. Has arrived at its destination. Let's have a look at the food now. We're up to 122. That is absolutely phenomenal. And if we look at science, we are also almost ready to go with the airlock here, getting more efficient repairs. Uh, tell them what they want. Oh, we just completed it. Nice. We can't do the next one. So now we need to figure out what we want. I think it's time for us to get the colonization one. That seems good. And we had a science ship completed. Let's see if there's a good or bad news here. The cargo ship is of unknown class, but was evidently designed by a Dolos lab. Its appearance co its clearance codes are linked to the Taurus class identified as the Protagoras. Uniform burn patterns suggest precision laser cutting cutters were used to breach the hull. The crew appears to have been torn from its safety harnesses. We were able to recover a communication fragment recorded by the pilot. I did not escape the Timananki, only to be devoured by this monster. It appears they attempted to crash into Fargo 39 rather than succumb to the unknown aggressor. The team has recovered the ship's data archive and are returned to the Einstein. 30 science. Sweet. I like it. And that's the completion of this one. We've also arrived at the Valiant. We got another hint. So, the Valiant is dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship uh, in orbit of the planet. The wreck of a UN warship, Husinga, orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down the Dolls survivors, it fell to something even more dangerous than itself. We have wish on a cluster of UN emergency cryopods drifting towards the Valiant 71. If we don't interfere, interfere they'll enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. Hmm, that sucks. Uh, recover materials from the Hazinga. That's probably like alloys and stuff. Attempt to recover the closest cryopods. Yeah. Attempt to recover all cryopods. That's a bait. Analyze the wreck of the Hazinga. That's probably science. Since I want... Let's let's try to get some cryopods. We are short on cryopods here, so let's uh, let's go for that, and then hopefully also get some science out of that afterwards. A probe has completed its scan. I don't like the fact that we are not getting enough uh, here. Yeah, 35 when things are working. Good, and the science is going. All right, this is all good. We do have now. When this one's done, we can send you over to the Mac R. Yeah. Oh, did the science complete? No, we're working on the colonization now. Good. And we have... Do we have enough? 60? Eh, close. Close to enough. Now, as we discover new things like this probe just did, we have to make these avoid it. And the reason why is because I don't want my probes to fly or my uh, miners ships or anything else to fly over here. Um, I do intend that once I'm done with this sector, I'll be flying over here harvesting everything around it and then leaving the system. That's going to be my plan because I need to fly a through this. Team has completed a task. Science ship team has completed the task. As the Mendeleev uh, was retrieving the cryopods, a volley of telluric bodies that were orbiting Valiant 71 hit the science ship. Fortunately, no damage was done. Oh, so that's also just hinting at if we'd stick around long, stuck around longer, then we'd probably be hit by all of them. The cryopods have been prepared for extraction. Ah, 75. 25 that's not much but anyway uh 25 is better than nothing and we didn't get a hint so good thing we're heading over to that mac r and then mendeleev you can go over to the plymouth which i don't think is going to be taking anything and uh, we're also just yeah these are still priority that's why it takes so long to get over there this one's also a priority but here we have 12 remaining okay not much and then we'll go on to go in here and we do have protection against adverse weather in here so that's good you're actually in a pretty fortunate position the only thing we're really missing is how do we get more uh, resources or how do we find our the protagoras we have two out of three hints and i'm hoping that the last hint is going to be right there 
Alright, we are now ready for this event. Let's see. Probe sensors detected traces of Dolus EKP signature near Mark R. Tracking its trajectory, it appears to have entered the planet's atmosphere. Coordinates of a potential crash site have been established. The planet's surface temperature is extremely low. Reaching the crash site, the Einstein team found the remains of a science ship frozen in ice. Hmm. Set up an excavation. Absolutely. That is definitely what we're going to do. We are going to take just one of these uh, random ones. There we go. There. That is absolutely what we're going to do. We're going to do it properly and excavate it and uh, meticulously. What I'm also going to do is just realize we're going to need more power. So let's start working on more solar power. It's 202. So let's get that going. Uh, we're at a point where we don't need to burn through all of our polymers to get there. And we have a decent amount of polymers here. Uh, the one thing we could work on is if we look at our food storage, though, uh, I think we're pretty good on this. Uh, how are we doing here? We could switch one of these on again. Yeah. Uh, but we could also start making another one, which is going to take more power, but less crew. So that would be my next objective for here is to really go crazy on the food. So go crazy is that one. We also got the colonization center, right? Didn't we? Or are we working on the colonization center? No, we're working on the colonization center, but we don't have enough science. We'll get science soon enough. Uh, the one thing we do want, though, is in the industry sector, we want to make sure that we get another one of these. Yeah, so I think that we can take a look because we want to produce twice as much of the polymers. Oh, that's expensive to put in here. Well, we'll do it anyway. All right, so we have arrived here at the Plymouth 37. So let's see. Now, I'm pretty sure that the, the Mac R is going to be the, our hint that we're looking for, but um, let's start seeing if we can set up here. All right, so we can again do a, let's see. Uh, our probe has detected the presence of cavities beneath the planet's surface. The readings we are picking up from these chambers are similar to those from strong nuclear reactions. We have landed on Plymouth 37, the opaque, opaque atmosphere lets in hardly any light. Geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We have set up a location near, uh, near one of the cavities. Perform intrusive analysis, that's the quick and dirty, set up a temporary storage or establish infrastructure to support explore, exploration and geological analysis. We'll always take that if we can uh, because it just feels like it's more valuable and more safe even though it takes more time and costs more money and all that stuff, but I still think it's worth it. Uh, we will wait for the delivery here as well. I think that something here was uh, loading resources. And uh, we are now, we want to make sure that we maintain high alloys and maintain food is pretty damn miserable right now. I don't understand why. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. All right, the new requests. I think that the issue was honestly the fact that um, they had to transport from here all the way around, and that meant that they were just not emptying it quick enough. Uh, this is actually working on the next, but we got the request incoming. Administrator, the novelty of eating crops grown in space delights the crew. Even if purely perceptual, the turning of the ordinary into an, the extraordinary can have a profound effect on judgment, elevating the otherwise humble to sublime. Understood. Plus 10%. Sweet, that's good, but we don't have trust issues, so that's not really a problem. I'm building one extra here, just because once this one is built, then we can also start making an extra farm, and then all of this becomes uh, irrelevant. But we do have quite a deficit of uh, fuel. We are. This one is. Is it being deconstructed? Okay, this one is being deconstructed soonish. And then I will be building another one. Yeah, we'll build this here. And Probably even here? I don't know. Let's get another one. I don't have anything else I can use this space for, but then behind it, as this one gets disappeared. Okay, let's check their optimal. Uh, they have a lot of extra resources. Switch that on. Switch this one on? Nope. Anything here that we don't need to switch on? And I mean, we can turn this one off and this on. It's just a bit of a finicky thing here. Here, what are we at? We have four, five extra. Not much. Uh, here we have 39 out of 139. Is that because we have like most of people in the hospital? Yeah, they're really hiding from work in here, aren't they? And we do need to make sure that they get transported out. 
and also let's make sure since now mark 3 here is the one that produces the majority of food it'll need to be pushing out the food into the other ones and i think we want to put these up to 50 if we can get away with it yeah let's do that so everything will need to be pushed out here this one has been built so it's time for us to build the next thing and again i encourage you to check out how awesome this is gonna fit that's i think that's awesome because we then had another thing the space academy how about that like it, this is not a coincidence i'm proud i'm kind of quite proud of that <laughs> uh let's see what do we have here we have no well, we should have a lot of those so let's oops let's go to this one and say we have a need for one electronics so they should be sending electronics yeah they're just sending one in at a time not a problem and sector one let's also get two in that section section even though i just disabled it never mind did we have something out here in the world oh yeah this one is working because we did get our delivery what about out here we haven't gotten the delivery yet but we got another 30 inbound and then we have another 10 afterwards all right and we now have space in here for building our uh, our new factory polymer factory boom fits in there that's yet another thing that needs to be built uh, we do see that we are not having enough polymers and we need a lot of polymers for uh, increasing our power production here so that is uh, another thing here is a stupid amount of, uh, of stuff inbound as well this is just one of those that we'll get it when we get it hopefully we'll have enough food to uh, to last us until we get all of those things uh, we also have some cryonic pods that i'd like to enable and so we need to enable one of these and as soon as we do that the whole thing comes crashing down so i have to be a bit preemptive on this and disable two of these that's more power that we don't have in order to enable that where are we at we are at two uh at two deficits so we will be un uh, unboxing the 25 cryonic parts and hopefully we'll get a few more workers out of that let's jump over to the main view and see oh, look at that perfect a task. so let's see with mac r location what do we find summary of intelligence on mac r all usable components from the wreckage have been conditioned and prepared for extraction the einstein's team of was able to recover data that revealed the cause of the science ship's crash, named the Ember Place. The Ember Place? Uh, the ships belong to the second generation Tyrus class superstructure called the Protagoras. Following some sort of attack by uh, the Atamananki, a UN ship, the, uh, the Ember Place attempted to emergency landing on Mac R. Coming in too fast, it was almost completely vaporized on impact. The crew manifest has been recovered. We also got high quality lubricant upgrade for the workshop, and we got Hey, look at that. That goes straight into our, sh our shields and um, or our solar sails. And also here we have some science. Great. And leave the planet. Great. That is the 3-1. Now we can locate Protagoras. Let's hear the incoming transmission. Administrator, we have collected and analyzed enough data to locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map. Via 3765. Oh, unfortunately, that played together with the the celebration new happy new year but uh, that is uh, now for us to launch we can see here uh, the quest thing is somewhere here it's right there there we go and that when we send that up we can oh it's close to this location then we can find the next location that is awesome what do we have here we are still missing 10 more coming in right so Things are progressing quite well. I think that it would be a good idea for us to move up to this location so we can sort of get closer to all of that. We don't have so much in this location, so let's just move to the Valiant. Still love that animation. And we are off. All right, we are arriving, and I think I might want to just focus a little bit more on uh, make sure that we have the hull repairs in order. Because we have now arrived and we're rebuilding so we did run out in section sector three that was not a big surprise but we did a run out nonetheless has we do have another issue though and that's called water we are oh, okay we are getting a little bit of ice inbound so that ice needs to go over to this location quickly so we can get more water here and um, I, i'm hoping this is enough water so i can make 40 per cycle how much water does this need 
uh, for the building to function. Okay, so it doesn't lose things, it just doesn't increase. That's not great. We definitely need to make sure the water is a high priority for us to mine. So I just went through it and uh, checked if we have, for example, here. Do we have water to claim? Yes, we do. Do we have someone who wants to pick it up? I have two that have it as a primary location for because now water is an integral part of what we want. We have now, uh, we've not located the Protagoras yet, but as soon as we do, we will actually, we can send someone over because we are also, we have sent one of our ships over close by and we are discovering the Protagoras. We found the Protagoras waiting for a signed ship. Let's send you over 0 0.7 cycles and that will be the first, uh, the, that was the objective sort of on the quest map of today. We've also built a massive infrastructure in terms of uh, how well the, the, the whole base works. There's a lot of things that are still in progress. Uh, we are upgrading our solar sails. That's still, it's it's getting upgraded. That's pretty neat. Uh, we are getting better. Two of these uh, factories, I think that's the right thing to do. We're working on our, um, our colonization. We built our fusion power. We got farms going. I think we're really happy about it. Uh, I am at least very happy with how we are. Where we are and it looks like we have the science ship has arrived all right so let's click it and see what happens all probe has succeeded in locating the protagoras visual re visual reveal that the dollar station is encased in ice it is not transmitting any signals we are holding position next to the protagoras its hull has been ripped open and its exterior systems are severely damaged although the outer superstructure appears to be more advanced its similarities to the tycoon are striking access to the station's main computer system and to access the station's main computer system and retrieve vol coordinates we must first break through the ice and get on board drill through the ice five turns all right that is going to be where we're leaving off for today then uh, on the next a mission we will be working on clearing this setting up exploration or setting up colonization attempts over here on deville and uh, continuing to sort of expand our our colony and if we could just find some more cryonic parts then we can also expand our colony beyond and actually maybe get into uh, maybe get into the fourth uh, the fourth sector who knows Thank you very much everyone for joining it's been super awesome and i really appreciate all the support for uh, this series i am having an absolute blast with this game and i hope you are as well thank you very much for watching until next time take care and as always stay effective <laughs>